Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy, happy Friday on this March 20th. Good to see you all. Good morning. Good to see you, Phil, Bali, Lewis, Mark, Bonnie, David, Daryl. Welcome back, all the Cyber Traders. It is Friday, 20 days. I don't know. When did we start this whole coronavirus thing? I mean, officially, I think it started on Monday when they closed New York down. We've got two more weeks of this stuff. But my God. Not only was I right, I was exactly right. I log in at, at, at 7.45, right? I see about, I don't know, 10, 15 of you in here, and we're looking around. And, you know, it's like a typical Friday, nothing going on. But we had this whole coronavirus thing going on. And I'm like, I'm sitting there at 8 o'clock. I'm looking. All you guys are in there looking. I'm like, and, 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 I, and I told you, I said, man, this looks exactly like a Friday. It, there's really nothing out there. And what did I say? Let's wait till 8.30 and see if we find a move. And for crying out loud, BLPH came from nowhere. News came out. And don't even ask me what the news is because I really don't care. Six to $22 in 30 minutes. When is the last time you guys ever saw something like that? Oh, like maybe like yesterday. Like, Well, we had a couple of them this week. But I don't think we saw one go up that fast, 500 this week, right? You know, but what a great move. I, I tell you, I think a lot of us are done for the day. I don't know about you, but <laughs> it's just unker, unker back and call of the day, wouldn't you say? That was a phenomenal, phenomenal run. The only bad thing is that, if you notice, it's got a big spread. You couldn't trade that many shares of it. But for all the uh, new traders that, that are here, we have a lot of new members that are going to be joining us. This is what we do every day, which, by the way, you know, I got a lot of shout-outs to do because yesterday, you know, we had um, – we, 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 we did the meeting yesterday, open house. Uh, we have so many people that register are going to do the trial. It looks like everybody wants to start learning how to trade now. And not only that, but I got a, a lot of people are now are, are new to Cyber Group. Uh, not new, just being a uh, part of the, uh, of the room. These people want to be students. We have all new, brand new gold students. And I'm not talking one. I mean, five of them just yesterday all became new students. Let's give a shout out. For, for Holland, Ralph, uh, Samir Patel, who else we got here? Thomas, uh, uh, Malika from South Africa, uh, Christos, you know, uh, the, the, from Greece, they moved to, to New York. Let's give them all a big shout out and a round of applause. Welcome to the C2 family. They all got approved and, you know, they look like a right fit. And we all know we all are here as a team players. So Let's all out, out there and work together. It's good to see you guys. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the team. Listen, I, I, like I told everyone, we don't have a thousand traders in this room. I don't. You don't want to be in a room with a thousand traders because just chaos. It's very. It's not for everybody. But you know, we, but when we start talking to you, making sure it's a good fit, if it works, you know, because it's a lot of work to train somebody it really is. But also, you know, it's it's not about us showing you stocks like this one going up six hundred percent. You got to know why it went up 600%. And you got to know how to think for yourself. And that's what it's all about. Ben just made $2.40 on it. There you go, Ben. Actually, I want to give you an applause. I like to give you a cash register. There you go. All right. So let's, let's talk about what is on the watch list. All right. So anyway, regarding about the watch list, yesterday we killed it on a couple of stocks. Um, I was done just trading Uber and Lyft. You know, in the morning, if you were listening and watching closely, I was saying things like, something's going on with you Uber. You know, and listen, I don't have a crystal ball, okay? I don't, I, I don't have inside information, but something was going on. And I kept saying, does anybody know what the news is? Because I was going on all the news services. Nothing came out. And then some, somebody said, oh, the CEO was on CNBC, and he said they're pretty cash uh, stable to handle. I'm like, so what the hell does that mean? You know, that, that, that. Meanwhile, the stock started going. And I think I jumped in around sixteen fifty or something like that, and then I got out at like seventeen, seventeen fifty, and I kept buying. It went all the way up. You could see Uber went, shot up all the way to twenty three. Great move. And then the big thing was this: Lyft didn't move about two three minutes after. So if you missed the Uber run, you could have jumped on the Lyft trade. So Lyft was also another really good move. And by the way, remember Lyft was a when public it was like in the seventy dollar range. You know, $80 range. Look at where it is now. It's actually at the same exact price, actually less than Uber is, actually. So, um, but anyway, that was a great move. 
all the uh, the gold stocks did great. I know you guys trade Nugget and all that. Those things popped, went from six to fifteen. I mean, these things all moved. Nugget, uh, what's it? Is that what I got? J Nug. What else we got? GDX. Another one had a nice little pop yesterday. CZR. That was a that was also a really good one. That one had a nice little pop. Uh, chart doesn't really help us right here, but right there went from like uh, three dollars to about four eighty. It's still going up a little bit. I'm I, I'm gonna still keep that on the watch list. CZR. But there was definitely a lot of good stocks. Oh, and another cheapy run. I forgot to mention the um, the NDY. That also was a pretty good cheapy. Look at that one, forty cents to a buck fifty. That one did pretty well. But remember, just don't hold overnight positions. Do what you taught about how to scout, and just stick with it. All right, guys. But uh, but let me tell you, the the BLPH twenty nine. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. Damn, I wish we had more shares of it. It's kind of hard to do it when you're doing a meeting, you know, and watching at the same time. But this thing is just everywhere. Look at this. Uh, just gonna bring up. Oh my God! There's a there's a ten thousand share buyer just popped up right there. Look right there. Oh, did he leave? He got executed. Huge buyers out there. One guy was just out there just for a minute ago. And whatever it is, it's definitely good news. <laughs> I know it's a dollar spread. You can't trade too many shares of it. You got to be really, really careful. Grant says, go, BLPH, go, 700%. This is awesome. Love this job. There you go. You just paid for your class just on this one stock. All right, so we got this one, obviously. Now, once again, if you missed it, don't worry about it. We find things like this all the time, you know, BLPH, all right? But there are a couple of other ones that are also doing pretty well. I want you to keep an eye on IPXP. That one, uh, IPXP, is that coming up? Chefs. There we go. Keep an eye on Chefs. Chefs got crushed. It went from 40 all the way down to like 4. It's gapped up a little bit this morning. Another stock that got decimated down, pff, I don't know, what was that? 90% it was down. <laughs> uh, CZR, I want to keep an eye on that one. From yesterday, and what else we got here? Is a TNXP. That's another one right there. That one's gapping up pretty good. That one you guys were watching early this morning. She backed off. She went from, we were looking at early this morning. We had a big run early. You guys did pretty well with that one. But uh, then she kind of backed off. So uh, I was kind of like, eh, maybe, maybe not. But we'll throw that on, that, uh, on there. Now listen, remember this one? Where is it? BMRA? Stock goes from 4 to 22. Thank God you day traded because you held it overnight. You're getting crushed right now. So remember, you guys don't want, want to get too crazy regarding about uh, you know, holding these positions overnight. You make the money, take it, and run. That was another one I forgot to mention earlier. Listen, it's Friday, okay? Not a lot of news. Good news is that we're up about 249 points. I had people call me up yesterday telling me, hey, Fausto, I bought, uh, I bought Tesla at 390. I believe Tesla dropped down that much, huh? I'm, I'm warning you guys, and I told everybody this already. You are going to miss the biggest bull market in the history of the New York Stock Exchange. We are going to beat this virus, okay? This is not the financial crisis where the banks got to come back. This is two weeks of just stupidity. The bad thing is if people don't listen, okay, and lock themselves up and don't spread it, all right, we could get through this pretty quickly, you know? I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. So if you see people walking around, you know, it's just, I have no respect for you. I hate to say it. I really don't. I mean, you should be, unless it's an emergency and you have to go out, something, you need food or whatever. But what's it said? Just stay home for two weeks and we'll get through it. And for us, you know what? Great opportunities out there. If there's something that you wanted to buy, if there was something that you needed um, that you couldn't buy before, you know, and now you can get to get it. Why? What do you? What's holding you back? If you, you know, listen. I'm not embarrassed to say it, but you know, uh, uh, 
Um, uh, but anyway, uh, BA, you know, uh, Disney, all these stocks, you know, uh, Apple, you know, things that you like, Don, I wish I had this stock. I mean, listen, you're going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to deal with the with, with the with all the chaos going on. But in the meantime, you know, if you love them, you got to be drooling right now where you could buy them. You know what I mean? This is your job. This is your business. You know, so go out there and make that make you know and make you make that investment in there, right? But um, but overall, it's been it's been a this is what you remember. This is what you're trained for. This is what you've been wanting for. I you know I'm actually a little disappointed because. Usually we always have a correction every eight years. It took 12 to get one. And now this is what you're doing. So just uh, put your head down, make your money, guys, uh, and uh, do, do what you do best. I'll tell you, I'll just be honest with you. I haven't worked this hard in training in like, like I said, in years, it, but it's been fun. I have I've been having some great conversations with my kids and my wife and telling them all this fun stock that we've been doing here. So that's been the great part of it. All right, so you know, listen, I know there's some people out there struggling. It's not, we're not here in a, in a depression. You know, it's not like a year down the road, two years down the road. This has only been a week. Actually, been longer. It's been a month since we've been here already because we're trading all the corona stocks, uh, pharmaceutical stocks. But now now we're starting to get the spillover effect on the other things that come along with it. You know, like, uh, you know, like the Cloroxes and, 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 and like the, 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 uh, the Costco's, you know, people that are benefiting from it. So let's just keep in doing what we're doing best. All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. If you see something, you say something. All right, cyber traders. And if you're new here to Cyber Trade University or you're listening in, listen, we recommend you please do not trade what we're in. You have no idea what we're doing. And that's okay. If you see people making money and you like it and you like the excitement, talk to your education advisor and I'll tell you how to get involved. Right now, you're just here observing. All right, so everyone, we'll be starting uh, our commentary in about uh, 15 minutes when the market opens up. So let's get ready for the open. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.